All right, I knocked over my camera, so let's try round two and not destroy the entire setup. Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Chad. This week is the last week uh, of my schooling because my school went late for some reason. Everyone else is already on summer, and I have uh, till the end of today to finish uh, and upload my final paper from this semester, which is great, because that means the rest of the summer is just us. It's just you and me having wine next to our spice garden outside. Uh, but until then, I have till today to do this. I do not have the time to do an eight hour, 10 minute video for you guys with fancy editing techniques and lighting. So I turned everything on. I moved a table, I DIY'd myself out of some, some wood over, and we're gonna do just a quick little tip here from Chad to you. So you guys can see my iPhone on the screen. Uh, really what this is about is being able to draw out kanji on any app on the iPhone because you can do it through the keyboard and not necessarily through the app. Uh, my buddy Lin, friend of the channel, a Vietnamese man from Fukuoka who's close and, and dear to my heart, gave me this tip when I was studying abroad there for a year and uh, back then my kanji knowledge wasn't as wide as it is now. Radicals were still pretty difficult for me. He goes, hey, how about you try this? And what ended up happening is because I don't necessarily know the stroke order of a lot of kanjis looking up the radicals or even really what was a radical and what wasn't that radical, a little difficult, but you know what's easier? Drawing it out. So I'm gonna switch over to my phone so you guys can see it. Uh, as you can see, I'm in my G-Show app. Actually, no, this is uh, Imiwa. This is my Imiwa app. And uh, if you look at the little circle that's here, you can click it up and you can see all the different types of keyboards. You have Japanese, English, emoji. This is the one we're talking about here. This is actually a Chinese keyboard that is explicitly used for handwriting. And yes, it is Chinese, but it has all the Japanese kanji in it. In fact, I've never found one in here that wasn't uh, Japanese, but it also has all the Chinese kanji. So if you guys are learning Chinese as well, Bonus money! Leave me a like down below, everybody. Leave me a like. So we'll just do some easy ones, uh, just so you guys can get the sense of it, but you can do like... Perfect. Done. You're already ready to go. Uh, but the stroke order matters significantly less for doing this method than it does for, I don't know, maybe radical search up. So this isn't a replacement for knowing the radicals, but it helps a lot of people in the earlier stages be able to draw it. And also, it's drawing it, and you're going to be able to see, oh, would a actual native Asian speaker, be it Japanese or Chinese, anyone that uses the Chinese alphabet, uh, would the way that I write it be acceptable enough for a system meant for them to be able to read it? And in this case, Jinsei, we got it. Woo! So enough about that. Let me tell you guys how to actually get this. Uh, you're gonna click into your settings and you're gonna see here, this is general. From your general settings, you're gonna scroll all the way down and you're gonna go to keyboard, boop. And uh, from your keyboard, you can see I have six installed. I have my Japanese, my English, I have my emoji. Also, this is the one that we want, the Chinese handwritten, but you also have Greek and Bitmoji, which is the other ones that were on there. Uh, but the real one that you want here is this fourth one down. So it's Chinese, simplified in the uh, little the jiggers there. And then you can see it's tekaki. So it's how it's writing with your hand. That's the one you wanna search for and install. So all you have to do is go down to add a new keyboard and you're gonna search for Chinese simplified in English or if you're in Japanese, you're gonna search for that one. And you're gonna want the one that says tekaki because that's the one that you're gonna write with. And now you just go back in your app, you click on uh, these four sets and then you can do whatever you want with them. And there you go. You're gonna be able to write out kanjis whenever you're searching in your app, be it because you were like me and you just, weren't quite as skilled adept at looking up radicals or just knowing all the kanji readings. Or maybe you want to practice. Maybe you want to set yourself up for success. And even when you Google on uh, your app on your iPhone or whatever you have, Chrome, Safari, it doesn't matter to me, uh, you can actually search via writing rather, rather than just typing in the kana and then selecting the kanji. So it's an extra little challenge out there for you people who are super into immersion. Anyways. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for giving me uh, kind of a pass on making this super pro this week. Uh, I sincerely appreciate it. Uh, shout out to all the $10 Patreon subscribers out there. $10 or more, get your name read out, and a personal thank you from me. So for Jenny, Sam, Erica, Sebastian, Daniel, Henry, Zachary, Hannah, uh, or Johnny, I know you prefer Johnny, Jacob, Gina, and Donovan, I just want to say thank you guys so much for supporting me. Uh, I sincerely appreciate it. If you would like, there's a Discord link down below. Hang out and talk to me on there. Uh, live stream this Saturday. We're watching the first Pokemon movie, the very first one. It's the 30th anniversary, so come hang out on Saturday and uh, pop, pop some sodas because we finished school together. We made it, guys. Uh, that'll be it. Love hard, love deep, and I will see you all next week. Bye-bye.
If you stayed through to the end here, you get a little bonus. You get a little extra surprise. For people who've been wondering about the Manga Club uh, and when there's going to be openings, I would like to show you the previous picture and where we're at right now. I don't think I need to say anymore. Uh, you guys have until all of those remaining slots are taken up.